If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have Michael Vic Day and Woodson Day. So, two of the best legends that could ever drop in the game on any given Saturday have both dropped today. Now, yesterday, me and Zerk, we found out about Vic. We were talking and we were like, all right, who's the other Raider, right? Because that's in the joke of the community that we keep getting so many Raiders. So we're like, who's the other legend's got to be a Raider, right? And we made the joke, we're like, Charles Woodson. We laughed about it, it was whatever. They actually dropped Charles Woodson. It, it's unbelievable. I think the Raiders thing's actually a meme for attention at this point. It's got to be. There's no way. Like, there's just so many legends to choose from. Now, usually when they drop Vic, it's been a common theme in past years. They usually drop another banger legend with him. So that's another reason why Woodson sounded like not just so much a joke, kind of also could be a possibility but it's also definitely a joke i don't know what else to do about it at this point but that's better for that guys well i have some all pro uh packs from mutt rewards from yesterday so i'm gonna use these in the beginning see if i can get a chance at vic i'm not sure but we got vic today guys if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn the notification bell give this video a big thumbs up and of course guys if you guys want a chance at vic don't buy packs what you're gonna do is go on to below to my sponsor use code poodle at checkout you can get you can easily get vic and what's in for a great, great price, lower than most people who sell coins. So I'd recommend taking advantage of it. Do not buy packs, they're never worth it. Highly recommend you go ahead and do that. So all pro fantasy pack, we got one here. We got a little chance at a Vic here. You never know. All pro fantasy packs have not been horrible. I mean, legend fantasy packs are probably usually your best bet for like almost anything legend related. But you really just never know, right? You gotta just be hopeful and hope for the best here. That's two. We still have two. one more round after this one. All right, we got nothing there. We'll take the Emmanuel Sanders. I'll take the Power of Digs, and I'll take the Jaquiski Tart. Gold, gold. That was kind of that, that was a really bad pack. I feel like Mo Reward packs are under juice. Like I feel like they're like nerfed. When I, I've opened up the same pack of variations plenty of times, right? I open up that same pack or whatever variation within Mo Rewards. And it's always trash. I'm, I'm convinced they nerfed them so you think you're happy for getting packs. You're like, oh, it's one pack. It's, it was bad. It's, it's like, right, like, not every pack is good, but I feel like every time I open a Mutt Rewards pack, it's horrible. But let's go over to these sets. Let's go check out the new legends that should be live at this point, as per usual. I mean, you can never, you can never go against the possibility of a delay. But we got Michael Vick, 92 overall. This Vick card, if you didn't see his stats, guys, he is insane. This card is crazy. Now, I assume he's going for about a million coins right now, just off that first piece, give or take. Yeah, he's going to be close to a million. His LT is going to probably be a million. Now, I think by some point today, he'll probably drop. Okay, base fix and it drops around 450, 500k. It's going to happen. Um, don't buy him for a million coins. The LTD could hold some more weight. It's LTD Vic. I mean, I could see it holding some weight. Make sure you play your solos if you're going to do a set because this is a 40, 40k piece right now that you can get for free by playing his Legend Solos. Make sure you go ahead and actually do that. And then Charles Woodson, going to be cheaper than Vic, but probably not by. Oh, actually, that's not. That's Charles Woodson's cheap. That's actually pretty cheap. Um, that's not bad. Okay, so he's probably going for like 450, 500k right now, which means, like I said, he'll probably go down to like 350, 400. That's not horrible. But make sure you're playing your Legend Souls because you can go ahead and get your Legend Tokens as well as the Novice Set Pieces to go ahead and complete Woodson and Vic. Next, let's go over to the Auction Box. Go check these guys out. Let's see if they're live. Let's see what's going on with them now. They're pretty high overalls. I mean, the LTDs are powered up to go to a 93. They're some of the best cards in the game, and it's not even it's not even close. Like, these two cards are probably one of the most banger drops in the game. Okay, so we got Vic live here. I see Vic LTD is live. Now, I do kind of want to filter this out a little bit because it's I want to see just the Vicks here. Okay, Vic's going for 800k. That's what I pretty much said, and his LTD is going for over a million. This is going to drop, but well, Michael Vic is absolutely crazy. 93 speed, 93 throw power. Let's pause there. He's one of the strongest arms in the game, if not the strongest arm in the game, right? He's the fastest quarterback in the game by a pretty large margin. He's going to have a 94 speed. He gets the medium and deep accuracy threshold. He falls one short of the short accuracy threshold. Oh, uh, this is the LTD, so actually he falls too short. He gets the throw under pressure threshold, the throw on the run threshold. But actually, guys, he's the best. He's like one of the best passing quarterbacks in the game. He's also the fast quarterback in the game. He may also have the strongest arm in the game, and he's an improviser. Which I'm pretty sure means escape artist at a certain AP, right? 95 agility is insane. 93 acceleration, 80 catching. If you run the Philly special, if that if that's somewhere for you to run, I guess that's useful. I don't really know why he has 80 catching. 
I guess that's how they got his overall. I really don't know. 86 carrying is great. 94 change of direction. 93 juke. 93 spin. 90, 90, 89 break sack. 93 break tackle. This card's an absolute monster. It's not even fair. He's the glitchiest quarterback in the game, and it's not even close. This card's Chris. And, and the one thing that's not threshold is short accuracy, and that's arguably the one thing that I care the least when it comes to thresholds, right? Because short passes are hearts over. Like, when you run a budget squad, right, or a no money spent squad, or you do like a series, right, or or you start the game fresh with bronze quarterbacks, what do you franchise, and you have one of the worst quarterbacks in franchise, or how do you play Madden? You do you throw the deep ball? No. Do you throw deep medium passes? No. You throw slants, drags, swing routes, bubble routes, RPO screens. Why? Because short passes, historically Madden, can be thrown by anyone. Um, it's very unlikely to get errant ones. Now, if you get an errant short pass throw, it's typically because of pressure or because you're scrambling or because you're throwing across your body. Now, is it possible? Yes, but he's an 88. Short passes barely get overthrown because they're so short. See, even in real life, I can make a short pass. It's the medium and deep passes where that's where the higher precision and skill starts to really kick, especially from a Madden standpoint. Like, that's when you can tell, like, okay, if a guy's bad deep or medium, they will overthrow those or throw them slower. So, yeah, Vic's an absolute monster. Escape bars in this Vic is going to be something that I don't even want to see. I don't even want to know what that looks like. That's going to be, gonna, it's going to be unfair. He's going to be so good. Now he's going for almost a million. Now he's actually going up in price. There's a decent chance that off the rip, it would have been easier. It would have been cheaper to buy him right off the rip. And then he's going to eventually keep falling because there's no way Vic holds at this price forever. He's a legend card. He gets pulled out of packs. His pieces, you know, they're not gold. They still come out. I don't think it'll last that long. Next, guys, we have the Charles Woodson, of course. Now, Charles Woodson, 93 overall LTD, cornerback for the Packers. He's looking pretty solid as well, guys. He has a 92 speed at cornerback. That is really good. 92 Excel, 91 agility. I wish he would have got plus one more speed, though. 93 jumping, 87 play rack, 92 man, 93 zone, 92 press. Going to be an all-threshold corner. He's going to be crazy good. 6 foot 1, 202 weight, great weight, great height. 172 strength, 91 agility. It's 93 jumping and 83 catching. That makes him super athletic, similar to a Deion Sanders with that jumping and catching. He gets 80 carrying. It's 93 change of direction, 92 juke, 90 spin. So when he gets the ball, when he when he picks the ball off, he's going to be a threat to take it back anytime he touches the ball. 81 catch in traffic, guys. Now, if you guys don't know this, 81 spec catch, 81 catch in traffic, and 80 catching, 83 catching on a cornerback doesn't just mean that, oh, he's gonna catch good picks. He's gonna catch picks right now. It means he's gonna catch contested picks. He's going to catch wide receiver S catches. Because when you have a cornerback with like 70 and 60 catching, when a ball comes their way, they have to have like the typical like jump in front of an animation or right to them animation. Deion Sanders and Charles Wilson, you get above like 80 catch threshold and stuff, they start to get like exclusive animations where like they could like go around you and pick it like a one arm around your body, make a one handed snag it over your head. Like they're like wide receivers. They start to be able to pretty much play wide receiver when the ball comes near them. 84 hit power is absolutely absurd. This car, 84 block shed. This is the best cornerback in the game. He's going to be amazing in the run game. He's going to be able to lay the boom. He can cover. He's tall. He has good weight. Charles Woodson's absolutely insane, guys. This is the best legend drop of the year. And it may actually be the best legend drop of the year overall because I really don't see a Vic and Woodson being out-tapped. Maybe a Lawrence Taylor and a Randy Moss, but Vic's quarterback, you know, like, I, I really just don't see it. But that's about it for the video. That covers everything. If you guys have any questions, you need to pick up some coins, head on down below, comment it, head over to the sponsor, use code Poodle. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.